Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Asha Mac. Here on this channel, I talk about things such as self-publishing, illustration, um, small business, entrepreneurship, and personal finance, and kind of everything in between. So if those types of topics interest you, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Lately, I have been getting a lot of interest in the topic of marketing your own self-published children's book. And it's so interesting that I never really focused on this topic because it's something that I struggled with and I still tend to struggle with, but I'm learning quite a lot of what I should do to get my book in front of people. So if you want to know about how to do that, please stick around. So, you know, first things first, there are several ways to promote a book. And if promoting your book kind of scares you away from self-publishing altogether, please note that even if you book your, if your book gets picked up by a publishing house or um, any type of publishing company, you are still almost, not almost, you're still 100% responsible for promoting your own book. So this book, this so this video may also help you as well if you're with a publishing company because man let me tell you i've heard of people that have gotten picked up by publishing companies they put their book through the rigmarole for like a year or two and then push comes to shove and they realize like hey look if i don't promote this book nobody's gonna know about it and nobody's gonna buy it so i have several suggestions as to what you can do to promote your book and the first thing is, like I always, always, always say, the very first thing that you should ever do is share it. Share, share, share. Share your book with your friends. Tell your family that you're an author. A lot of people start writing and they're afraid to even acknowledge the fact that they themselves have chosen to become an author. You know, when you're self-published, I, I would love to believe that every entrepreneur goes through this. Um, and especially every artistic entrepreneur goes through this where they feel like not so validated because they weren't hired by someone or someone didn't exactly tell them that they were in fact an artist. You need to let people know that you've become an author. You need to let people know that your book is coming or your book is out, what your book is about and keep telling them because people forget or they think that you're just, you know, it's just a fly by night, it's a hobby or it's just something that you came up with for the day. So let people know that your book is out or your book is coming out, what it is, show it to them, tell them that you're an author and remind them so that they can buy it. There are several ways that I personally like to share my books. And some of these ways I need to be a little bit more consistent as well. And one of those is on your stories. So Instagram stories, Facebook stories, read your book a little bit or just show pictures of it. it doesn't necessarily have to be a video, even though videos are much more eye catching. And even if you're not like confident enough to sit in front of the camera and read and talk about your book, feel free to like put up a picture or even a picture like, you know, a little animated picture where the book is bouncing back and forth and play some fun music, just something to catch people's attention and keep sharing. If you're a person that posts to your stories all the time, just have one on load so that every time you post to your stories, like every couple of days, you just throw that in there just to keep it fresh into people's minds of what you're doing. Now, this next suggestion is something that I still have not really mastered and that is sharing to Facebook groups. Now sharing to Facebook groups does not mean getting in a group full of other authors or other self-published authors, other children's book publishers or illustrators because while some of them may just out of wanting to support you will purchase your book, they're not necessarily your clientele because they're not going to be repeat customers. Um, what you really want to do is find, so I talk a lot about self-confidence or bullying or just, I talk about a lot, a lot about self-confidence. We'll just leave it at that. So you want to find, uh, like parenting, I would find parenting Facebook groups or social activism Facebook groups. And when people ask about different things, see this is a long game. When people ask about children's books or 
literature that leans toward that topic, then I would say, oh, hey, look, I actually wrote a book about that and here's the link, you know, check it out if you want, that kind of thing. So for me, this is not really the most givingest way to publish a book. I mean, I'm sorry, not the most givingest way to um, promote my book, but it may work for some of you. So, I mean, if you're involved really heavily with some Facebook groups, then I would say go ahead and try it. I mean, it's free to do, so why wouldn't you try? This is something, and I actually, I feel like I need to make a video about this because this is something that I was very nervous about, just like I was very apprehensive about illustrating my own books, and that is creating a book trailer. Now, book trailers are another one of those things that you can, you can uh, share on social media. You can put it on your website. You can really put it anywhere. Um, and a book trailer is quite simple to make. You know, I was, when I first started researching how to make a book trailer, I would look at other book trailers for other books. And, you know, I always lean toward Pete the Cat. I just love Pete the Cat. I love the aesthetic. I love the type of stories they write. I, I just love it. So I was looking at some of their <laughs> book trailers and the writers and illustrators for Pete the Cat are very, very seasoned. So what looks very simple to a child or a parent who's not really interested in publishing books is what's quite difficult for me. So I figured out a simple way to make um, book trailers and coming down the pike, I will actually share that with you because I realize that it's something that's very important to your success as a self-published author and a lot of us don't really know how to do that. So just know that a book trailer is very important but i will actually help you figure that out later on this is something that i did very early on when i first published my first book and that is run ads now i ran google ads um no i'm sorry i ran amazon ads because my book was on amazon but i feel like running google ads may help you because a lot of people search google for for books but i think primarily my market and my demographic, most parents and most caregivers, most teachers even, they run straight to Amazon because you know everything is there. And because my book is listed on Amazon, Walmart, and Barnes and Noble, it makes it very easy for them to find it, whether they search any one of those. So what you really wanna do is get to the top of that search. And when you're starting out, unless you just have like this big surge of people that you know that started purchasing your book, it's not really gonna be at the top of that search result. So running paid ads is a really important way to get your book, at least in the very beginning, I would say quarterly, it's good to run paid ads just to keep that momentum going because once you get the momentum going if you continue it then amazon will continue to push you to the top of that search result but if you get a spike and it lulls then they kind of put you right back down at the bottom of the chain so there are lots and lots of videos on youtube for how to create these ads and how to you know make sure that they're uh make sure that they're seo strong and all of that i personally am no expert so don't count on me for that, but just know that the ads are very important. This is my new best friend, and that is influencer marketing. Once YouTube changed how they uh, monetize content, I really was thinking that like it wasn't really gonna be a big deal working with children's book influencers because they're probably going to vacate the YouTube space. And as you know, that's not true. So influencer marketing, whether that be bloggers, Instagram, or YouTube, you wanna get them to push your book. And for a lot of them, they don't really wanna get paid that much. A lot of them just want free books. Some of them want a little bit of money. Some of them want you to in turn um, push some of their, or promote some of their work. So really reach out and speak to influencers because you will see an influx in your influence with your influencer marketing they have reach think about some of the people that you watch or some of the instagram that instinct bleh. and some of the instagram accounts that you follow you care about what they're talking about and a lot of times i've, I've myself have, have made impulse purchases 
based on some of these influencers and you're not alone. Just recently, I participated in a community event where I was able to set up booths for both of my businesses, the She360 and for Pinecone City Books. And let me tell you, I was shocked at the response that I received just for the two days that I was at this event. Community events, book fairs, expos, these are definitely places that you want to set up a booth and sell your books, get some physical copies printed. You know, if you're starting out just fresh and you really are on a budget, I would say plan it out. If you don't have the cash to upfront buy a thousand copies, plan out four or five months from now and just buy 200 copies every month. It's an investment, yes, but I, I promise you, I promise you that doing these events will in turn give you a profit. So I set up my booth at this event and I think I only brought like 50 books. And I, in a total of probably four hours, I was completely sold out, completely sold out. And I'm just like, <laughs> you know, I was shocked. I was really shocked. And some people would come up and they would just see the books and they'd be like, oh, what's this? And I would say to them, oh, hi, my name's Asha. I, uh, you know, I wrote all of these books. I self-published them myself. I illustrated them. If you have any questions, please let me know. And just that statement alone, whatever book they had in their hand, they would buy. I had some people that walked up and they were like flipping through all my books. And I would say, oh, the storybooks are $10 and the notebooks are four. And they would take one of everything. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. If you are nervous or just not a very social person, get a buddy. And if you're gonna do an expo, you're gonna need somebody to be there to relieve you when you need to use the bathroom or something anyway. Grab a friend, grab a family member who is really, really good at public speaking and just engage with people. Share your content at these expos and people, you will sell out. You saw people love buying self-published children's books, especially when they're in person. I think a lot of times there's a risk factor when you're online because people are afraid that they're gonna buy some crappy book. Let's just be honest. They're afraid they're gonna buy some crappy book. If you're there and they put a face with the book and they understand that this is a quality piece of work, something that you put your heart and soul into, then they will wanna buy it. And with that said about the heart and soul thing, please take your heart off your sleeve when you're in the middle of selling and when you're in the process of creating a book business. If you're really in a book business, then you have to stop expecting everyone to treat your work like it's, it's their baby too. These are storybooks. They're gonna end up on the floor. Some kids might rip a page, you know? So the parent has that in their mind. They know that this is a story that they're gonna enjoy with their kids, but it's also just a book, okay? It's just a book. And please don't hate me for saying that, but you have to kind of let that go. And that is where you will find your success when you kind of strip away that emotional connection. And that, I'm, I, I hope I'm not misdirecting you, but strip away that emotional connection, still you know, care about it, but don't, don't let it bring you down. So this is one thing that I've been trying to do with some authors and I, it, I think just currently under the conditions of COVID, people are finding it hard to plan. Like nobody wants to plan. We've spent a year and a half or more in our pajamas and sweatpants at home and it's just hard to plan. But I say go live with other authors and create book bundles. So what do I mean by go live? I mean... I mean, you could just do it bare bones and just go live, just show up on people's feed live with another author um, promoting your books or create an actual book fair event on Facebook and uh, give people, you know, provide a link where people can click through to purchase you guys' books, but do bundles. And, you know, so say your book is $12. If your book is $12, then say buy my book and this book together for $15. So you guys are still making a profit, but people are more likely to spend the extra $3 and get two books. You know what I'm saying? So I think that would be very beneficial, especially if one or more, one of you or more of you have more audience than the other, or you kind of have similar 
um, storylines or similar topics, but they're different in some kind of a way. You know, everybody wants something unique to share with their kids. So try doing an online book fair and bundling those books together. Ooh, and this one is fun. And I remember when I first started writing my first, well, when I first started learning to um, illustrate my first book, I was so embarrassed to share the news with people. And I did, I told one lady at the library, one of the librarians, and she told me to do a free book reading. And she encouraged me to do this book reading. And this is the craziest thing ever, but it gave me the most confidence. She encouraged me to do the book reading before I'd even finished the book. I remember I drew one crude picture, one big sketch on like a flip pad of paper. And I wish to God I had some pictures of this event because it was like, looking back on it now, I'm more proud of it. But for a long time, I just cringed that she even made me do that. I got a, one of those big white pads of paper and I drew the stick figure of Arnold and I wrote on the bottom, I can, and I sat there and I read, I can because I'm big from my notebook. And when I tell you that, you know, you're, if you've seen any of my older videos, you know, I called that my garbage story in the beginning because it was the story that writing that story, illustrating that story and publishing it was what gave me my confidence to, to just hit the gas. So doing library readings, it's free. And if you have your book already printed, you can make you can make sales right there at the library. People will purchase your book right there. So try it, because it can't hurt. It's free. <laughs> like almost all of this stuff is free. So just try it. And the last thing is to share your social channels. If you have not created an Instagram for your book or for your like an author Instagram, whichever I I personally have created an Instagram for specifically Pinecone City and I find it difficult to be active on it. I'm still working at that because I, I feel like if I focused on one book, then I'm alienating all my other projects, but it's kind of too big of a pool for my tiny little fish to swim in. So whichever works for you, focus on either just one book, if you have one book or even if you have multiple books, or do an author page as a whole. Create a website. If you don't necessarily right now want to take on the job of creating that website, at least purchase the domain so that you have that. Are you okay? Yeah. At least purchase the domain so that you have that, you know, ready to go as your business starts to grow. I really hope that I didn't ramble too quickly through these things. I may uh, go back and do more videos where I break down how to do um, specific. I may go through and break down some of these topics a little bit more in depth so that you can kind of get a sense of actually how to execute them. And uh, I will also go about doing that book trailer video because y'all, it took me good two years to figure out how simple a book trailer was. And yeah, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. And you can always hire somebody on Fiverr. So if you don't want to create it, if you have the money to pay for it, go ahead and do it, but get somebody quality. Otherwise, I will show you how to do it. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or inbox me over on Instagram at it's ashamak. And might I just say thank you to everyone who has been reaching out to me with suggestions, comments, criticisms, um, asking me for help. I really love the like interpersonal community that this small channel has begun to create. And it really, it validates, it validates me. It, um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. So thank you. And until next time. Be blessed. Bye.